Hi everyone, uh, today we are assessing a uh, peltoforum tree. This is a peltoforum pterocarpum, or in Marathi we call it as Son Mohar. So, a big problem that I see here is a lot of internal decay into the tree here. There's a lot of dead wood, a lot of decay happening here. But at the same time, the tree has put in a lot of new reactive wood growth, a healthy new growth to compensate for the decayed loss, uh, decayed wood. Uh, as you can see here from this side of the camera, if you can come here, there is a lot of decayed wood, a lot of termite damage that has been seen here. There is a lot of dead wood here and there is some fungal brackets growing in there. And the major, and the major sign for internal decay for any tree is the fungal footing bodies. So you have about four fungal footing bodies here, the Ganoderma species which exhibits or, or, or which demonstrates that there is some kind of internal decay going on. Uh, the tree is standing, it's almost 10 meters or so tall and which means, and it's, it's healthy as well, which means you know the sapwood system or the vascular system of the tree is functioning well. But there is some kind of a hardwood decay, the decay within the tree, inside the tree is, is problematic. So what do you do or how do you manage these kind of trees? So you cannot undo the decay. A lot of people ask me how do you treat the decay. So decay is something you cannot treat. It's something you can manage by doing some interventions into the tree. But you cannot reverse the decay or you cannot apply something which will stop the decay from happening. If you can already see something like this growing out of a tree, which means the decay is already spreading inwards and it, it's probably moving up into the tree. So there is very little of it. It's equivalent to nothing that you can do to stop that decay. But what you can do is uh, probably reduce the tree, the canopy crown reduction by at least 10 to 20 percent so that the wind load in the tree is reduced and the tree becomes more stable. Secondly, as you can see there are a lot of targets around. Targets as in what are the things that could be affected if the tree falls. So there's a building here, a structure, the other trees, the vehicles, the people on busy days, the people around here, it's a residential area. So you cannot move the targets of course, so you'll have to manage the tree uh, in its own. So one way of doing that is by reducing the crown by 10 to 20 percent, crown reduction in a proper systematic pruning way. Second thing would be to clear up the area, maintain some sanitation in the area so that you know the fungal spread is reduced. And the third would be to take the tree out completely given at least one or two years in the observation, you know, further observation and there could be a necessity to remove the tree altogether because this is going to cause more harm than good in the future. So if the tree doesn't cope up well, if there's no stability in the tree, if there's a hard, uh, if the healthy wood in the tree is going to keep on decreasing, it would be better to take the tree out completely. But it's not going to cause a huge problem because you have three, four other younger trees around to compensate and cover the canopy. So even if you lose this tree, for the sake of safety, it's not going to be a huge loss. So that is how you could manage doing ground reduction, improving the sanitation around the tree, and if time comes, taking the tree out completely. So it all depends on case-to-case -case basis. So let me know what you think, and uh, leave your comments on how do you thought, how do you think uh, you would manage this tree. So thank you so much. Let me know. Bye bye.